How often should you do dead hang? This simple move provides various benefits from increased upper body strength to better grip strength. And it's perfect for all fitness levels so anyone can start reaping the rewards. So what exactly is a dead hang? It's simple. Grab a pull-up bar or another overhead bar and hang from it with your arms fully extended. That's it. No swinging, no kipping, just hanging there like a, well, like a dead weight. Don't let the simplicity of the movement fool you. The dead hang is incredibly effective. By making your muscles work against gravity, you'll quickly see an increase in upper body strength. And since your grip is also working hard to keep you attached to the bar, you'll also notice an improvement in grip strength. Not only will your muscles get stronger with regular dead hangs, but your joints will get stronger too. The constant tension on your connective tissue will help increase joint stability, reducing your risk of injury in the long run. So let's dig into the details of this exercise. How many times should you do dead hangs, let's say a month? How long should you remain in that dead hang position? How can you perform dead hangs? Why should you do dead hangs? Injuries gotten from dead hangs and how it can be prevented? All this and more we will be discussing, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere, the video will be very interesting. Like and subscribe if you find the video interesting. There are two types dead hangs position, the active and the passive dead hang. The passive dead hang position is the stretching version in which your legs hang straight down with less focus on contraction and much more on stretching. Your shoulder joints are still activated, but the rest of your muscles should be lengthening in this version. The active dead hang turns the stretch into a strength building move. Once in position, focus on holding a full body contraction as you hang with your legs slightly in front of you instead of hanging straight down. The frequency of dead hangs depends on your fitness level, goals, and overall workout routine. For beginners, aiming for two to three times a week, best to start small and quickly work your way up as your neural system makes quick adaptations and gets your motor units firing, all of which are essential for coordination and powerful contractions. Target 20 to 30 seconds for the passive hang. You can try to reach the same for the active hang, but may want to start closer to 10 to 15 seconds, with rest days in between is a good starting point. As you progress and your grip strength improves, you may choose to increase the frequency. Passive hangers with some weightlifting experience should be able to hang for over a minute, ideally closer to 80 to 90 seconds. For the active version, target one minute of dead hang time, working your way up each week. Passive hangers easily completing 90 second hangs are ready to perform some serious hang time. You can hang anywhere from two to five minutes for both the passive and active hangs. Be warned, even the fittest of the fit may have a hard time holding an isometric hold for this long in the active dead hang. Hanging as long as you can, building on your time each week. However, it's crucial to listen to your body and avoid overtraining. Rest during dead hangs is essential for several reasons. Firstly, it allows your muscles, particularly your grip and upper body muscles, to recover from the strain and micro tears incurred during the exercise. This aids in muscle growth and strength development. Secondly, adequate rest helps prevent overuse injuries and fatigue, ensuring that you can perform dead hangs with proper form, reducing the risk of injury. The duration of rest between dead hang sessions can vary, but a general guideline is to have at least one or two days of rest between sessions. This rest period allows for optimal recovery, ensuring that you approach each dead hang session with refreshed muscles and a lower risk of overtraining. The ideal rest period after doing dead hangs depends on factors such as your fitness level, overall workout routine, and individual recovery capacity. Generally, allowing at least one to two days of rest between dead hang sessions is advisable. Incorporating dead hangs into your workout routine alongside other exercises can contribute to a well-rounded fitness program. A question is usually asked of all the exercises, why should you do dead hang? Incorporating dead hangs into your workout routine offers a multitude of benefits, making it a worthwhile exercise. Firstly, dead hangs are exceptional for building grip strength, which is essential for various daily activities and sports. This exercise engages a range of upper body muscles, including the shoulders, forearms, and lats, promoting overall upper body strength and muscle development. Dead hangs also contribute to improved shoulder mobility and stability. Beyond the physical benefits, this simple yet effective exercise provides a valuable decompression for the spine, offering relief for individuals experiencing back discomfort. Whether you're a beginner focusing on foundational strength or an advanced athlete aiming to enhance grip endurance, dead hangs offer a versatile and accessible way to achieve your fitness goals. We got a video on what will happen to your body if you do dead hangs. You are encouraged to watch it. Injuries during dead hangs are generally uncommon but it's crucial to be mindful of potential issues to ensure a safe workout. Overuse injuries such as tendonitis or strains in the hands, forearms, or shoulders can occur if dead hangs are performed excessively without adequate rest. To prevent injuries, it's essential to start with shorter durations and gradually increase the time as your strength improves. 
Maintaining proper form, including a neutral spine and avoiding excessive swinging, is crucial to prevent strains or discomfort in the back. Additionally, paying attention to hand positioning and grip technique can reduce the risk of hand and wrist injuries. In conclusion, the frequency of dead hangs depends on individual factors such as fitness level, goals, and recovery capacity. Beginners may find two to three times a week with rest days in between as a suitable starting point, gradually adjusting based on their progress. Intermediate to advanced individuals can consider increasing frequency, but the key is to listen to your body and avoid overtraining. The duration and rest between sessions also play a crucial role in maximizing the benefits of dead hangs while minimizing the risk of injuries. Ultimately, a personalized approach considering individual fitness levels and goals is the key to determining how often to incorporate dead hangs into your workout routine. Are you a victim of having low endurance or stamina? Where you try to do dead hangs but you can't last for more than 3 minutes? This really can cause many people to give up, even on exercise on a whole. But luckily, you're in the right place. Dead hangs are actually a very simple exercise to do, and they come with several benefits. If you want to find out the benefits, the link is above. But to stay longer while doing dead hangs isn't actually a one-day something. That's what we will be talking about later in this video. We will be discussing 5 tips which you can be active in so you could increase your dead hang time. Let's say from 5 minutes to 10 minutes in the first one week, and gradually you keep improving. Don't go anywhere, it will be very interesting. Please, if you find the video interesting or beneficial, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Thank you. Let's go. 1. Progressive Overload Progressive Overload is when you gradually add intensity to your workout to improve your performance. Related to dead hang, it means you can aim on doing dead hang for 3 minutes today and 5 minutes tomorrow, gradually increasing the duration of your dead hangs over time. If you can't still last longer the next day, you can set out a particular number of days. Like how many days you should stay in the dead hang position for a particular amount of time. Ensure to start with a manageable time frame, and as you get more comfortable, add a few minutes each week. This gradual progression allows your muscles to adapt without overstressing them. Progressive overload sets out a systematic and effective approach to building both your physical and mental resilience. By gradually extending the duration of your dead hangs, you increase continuous adaptation in your grip strength, gaining improvements in your hand and forearm muscular endurance. Two. Active hangs. Instead of passively hanging, engage your muscles actively. In a passive hang, you let gravity do its work, fully relaxing the shoulder, back, and core muscles. In an active hang, you'll hold some tension in your arms and engage your back muscles to pull your shoulder blades down and maybe slightly back. Focus on pulling your shoulder blades down and back while maintaining tension in your core. This not only strengthens your grip, but also works your upper back and core muscles. Three grip strength exercises, you should include specific grip strength exercises in your routine, such as farmer's walks, plate pinches, or wrist curls. This exercises isolate and intensify the workload on these crucial areas. Targeting the muscles involved in gripping will contribute to overall hand and forearm strength, improving your dead hang performance. Apart from the time benefits, there are other several benefits you gain. Like the exercise like farmer's walk, your forearm muscles increases. You could start picking the ones you're capable of doing. Four. Rest and recovery. Adequate rest is also a very important factor for muscle recovery and growth. Adequate rest periods between dead hang sessions allow your muscles to repair and grow stronger. Make sure you allow enough time between dead hang sessions for your muscles to recover. The recovery phase is when the body adapts to the stress placed on it during dead hang exercises, reinforcing the muscles involved, particularly the grip, hand, and forearm muscles. This process promotes physical well-being and also ensures sustained progress over time. Know that overtraining can lead to fatigue and decreased performance. Make sure to prevent this. When you feel tired, you could rest. Rest allows you to approach each session with refreshed vigor and a higher likelihood of pushing your dead hang time to new limits. 5. Varied grips. You could challenge your grip from different angles, fostering a more well-rounded development and adaptability. There are various forms of variations of the dead hang. You could experiment with wide grip, narrow grip, or a combination of overhand and underhand grips. This variety keeps your workouts interesting and also different muscles are targeted, thus preventing imbalances and promoting overall strength. The dynamic nature of these grip variations not only enhances your dead hang performance but also contributes to overall functional strength, translating into improved stability and control across different exercises and activities. Hope you have benefited from this video. If possible, would love to know your feedback when you have adopted this routine. Dead hang is a very great exercise you should do. If you are looking to improve your endurance, you can watch our video on the best exercise you could do. A dead hang decompresses and stretches out your spine. 
Try hanging with straight arms for 30 seconds to one minute before or after your workout for best result. It may look like a pull-up, but a dead hang involves simply hanging from a bar with a fully extended arm, focusing on grip strength and engaging the muscles that support the shoulder girdle. Want to know more? Let's go! In this video, I will be telling you what will happen to your body if you start doing dead hangs. Watch the video till the end, it will be very interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find the video beneficial. 1. Improve Grip Strength some shows that in studies that weak grip strength may be a risk factor for decreased mobility later in life. You need to have a strong grip whether you want to open a tight jar or plan to rock climb and with dead hang this can be possible. When you hang from a bar, your fingers, palms, and forearms bear entire your body weight, developing a strong and enduring grip. This prolonged isometric contraction challenges the muscles and tendons in your hands, fingers, and forearms, promoting increased strength and endurance over time. Doing this several times a week, you will begin to notice the various changes in your group. That's fast. 2. Improve shoulder health. Of course, dead hangs are not just about a good grip either. They can increase shoulder mobility, improve shoulder and lat strength, and reduce shoulder pain. The exercise helps in engaging and strengthening the muscles around the shoulder girdle. This can contribute to better shoulder stability and reduced risk of injuries. 3. Enhance spinal decompression. Sitting at a desk all day or doing heavy structural exercises that load up your axial spine compresses your spine, which can contribute to back pain. Thanks to gravity, dead hangs can help open up the spine, increasing the space between your vertebrae and allowing oxygen and nutrient-rich fluid to rehydrate your discs. Hanging also provides a nice little stretch to muscles that commonly get tight with poor posture, like your lats. For example, if you identify as a chronic sloucher, your lats tend to get tight, which can restrict your functional range of motion during exercise and everyday tasks, and can manifest as an annoying, ongoing upper back ache. Hanging freely allows for the spine to decompress. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who spend a significant amount of time sitting or have compressed spinal discs. 4. Improved Core Activation Dead hangs, typically performed by hanging from a horizontal bar with straight arms, might seem like a simple exercise, but they can do wonders for core activation. They activate the core by requiring the engagement of abdominal and back muscles to stabilize the body during the hanging position. That's the point where your entire body, including your core muscles, works to stabilize and support your weight. This can contribute to improved core strength and stability. Beyond the coveted six-pack, engaged core is crucial for supporting the spine, improving posture, and enhancing balance and coordination. It acts as a central hub for transferring energy between the upper and lower body during various movements, making everyday activities more efficient and reducing the risk of injuries. All this makes your core very important. 5. Increased arm and forearm strength. Dent hangs worth the muscles in your arms, contributing to overall upper body strength. Your arms, particularly your biceps and forearms, are actively engaged to maintain the hang. Here's how it works. The isometric contraction involved in dead hangs challenges your biceps and forearms, leading to increased strength and endurance over time. This constant tension on the forearm muscles during the exercise helps to develop your grip strength, which is crucial for overall arm strength. Progressing with dead hangs regularly, you may notice improvements in your ability to perform other upper body exercises and activities that require arm and forearm strength. Sounds great, right? The exercise provides a targeted and functional approach to strengthening these muscle groups, contributing to a well-rounded upper body strength training routine. 6. Better Joint Mobility Dead hangs do contribute to improved shoulder mobility through the passive stretch and engagement of the muscles surrounding the shoulder girdle. Imagine yourself hanging from a bar, your body weight creates a gentle traction force on your shoulders, allowing for a natural and passive stretch in the overhead position while you are in that hanging position. This stretch can help to alleviate tightness and promote flexibility in the shoulder joints. Being in that dead hang position do allow for a gentle stretch and mobility work. 7. Scapular Retraction Dead hangs encourage scapular retraction, which is the movement of pulling your shoulder blades down and together, and also movements that are integral to maintaining healthy shoulder mechanics. As you engage in dead hangs regularly, you are likely to experience increased range of motion in the shoulders, reduced stiffness, and enhanced overall shoulder mobility. This is important for good posture and shoulder health. Dead hangs are a very great exercise. You can add into your routine doing it five minutes every day and reap its benefit. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. We've got other videos in our channel. Choose the left or right and enjoy.